How's it going everyone? Brutal Sam here and uh, today we'll be taking a look at 6 methods to install games on a jailbroken PS4. So the first method is the direct package installer. Uh, this tool allows you to download games straight on the PS4 without the need to download them on PC first and then sending them later. This is pretty useful if you have uh, much space on the PS4 but don't have space on PC so you download the game on the PS4 and install it. So the first thing we're gonna need is remote package installer so uh, install that on the PS4 and run it. Next we need to double click on the direct package installer and click OK. Now we need a link to paste it here. Remember that the link must be direct and should not be a torrent link, okay? Now notice here that this is a PKG file, okay? However, it's still gonna install even if it was compressed, even if this was a RAR or ZIP file. Now let's copy the link, go back to the app and paste it here and simply click on load. Let's wait for the information to load. All right, now we can see here that this is a fake package and not a retail package. And if we scroll down here, we can see the game's version. Now we simply just click on install to send uh, the game's link to the PS4. Wait for a notification and there we have it, package sent. Now let's go to the PS4 and see if the game has started downloading or not. As you can see, it appeared here. Now let's go to the notifications. There you have it. The game is in the download section. Now let's move on to the second method. In this method, we'll be using the sender by Slarsgovi to send games packages as if they were payloads. So go to any host that has bin loader and run it. Of course, you need to have your PS4 and PC both connected to the same network. Now, when it succeeds, uh, don't click on OK and don't click on Close Internet Browser. Just leave it the way it is and go to PC. Drag and drop the uh, package that you want to install on top of the sender EXE and click Run. Now what we need to do is type the PS4's IP address here. So type it here and hit enter. You should see the transfer starting and there you have it. If you don't see this, that means nothing is happening and the game is not installing. So yeah. All right, now let's go to the PS4, see if the download has started. As you can see, the game is being installed. Let's wait for it to finish so uh, we can test it. Shouldn't take long because this is a small game. All right, I'm going to check the notifications one more time. Okay, ready to use. Now let's test it. All right, it's working. Moving on to the third method that you're familiar with, which is using Remote Package Sender with Remote Package Installer. So all we have to do is type the IP address of the PS4 here, and then we type the PC IP address here. Now we test to see if the server is working. All right, it's working correctly. Now we drag and drop the game package here, select it, and hit send packages. Now we go back to the PS4 to see if the game has started downloading or not. As you can see, the game is downloading. Again, we wait for it to finish so we can test it. All right, ready to use. Now let's test it. Okay, it's working. 
Moving on to the fourth method, which requires you to send the game to the PS4's internal storage. Uh, for that, we're going to use uh, FTP. So go ahead and enable FTP. Go back to PC, uh, open FileZilla, and uh, connect PC to the PS4 through FTP. Now we simply need to send the game to the data folder. It has to be the data folder or this will not work. So drag and drop uh, the game to the data folder. Okay. All right, now that it has finished copying, we need to go and install uh, the internal package installer application. So as usual, go to the debug settings, go to game uh, package installer and install the application. And when it's done, uh, all you have to do is run it so it installs uh, whatever is in the data folder this application will install it so just run it give it a few seconds and then hit the ps button and we check the notifications okay the game is being installed waiting for it to finish so I can test it all right it is working the fifth method is using PS4 Explorer application but again uh, this requires you to have the game uh, transferred to the PS4's internal storage so go ahead and open the application now we'll go down to the user folder Okay, now we simply need to uh, create a folder here. Uh, you can see the commands by pressing the start button. So to create a folder, press on the triangle button. Okay, new folder. And you can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it packages. All right. Now back to the data folder uh, where I sent the game. I'm just going to cut it and paste it from there. So cut and paste it in the folder that I just created. Okay. Now to install, press X one time and then press X again. Okay. Let's go back to the notifications. It's not downloading, so don't freak out. Go back to the application, but before that, you have to remove this notification so it doesn't interfere with the new installation. So go back to the PS4 Explorer, simply rename the game. We're gonna rename it. Okay, remove that. No dashes, no underscores, just remove everything. Okay, press R2 and we're done. X one time to show the uh, info and X one more time to install. So X, X, two times. All right, the game has appeared here. So it's installing. Okay. So now you can just navigate through the PS4 and you don't have to look at the installation progress like in the debug settings pretty useful pretty fast okay it's done let's test it i'm gonna close the app i mean it's gonna close itself when you run the game so all right it's working now we get to the final method, which is using fake USB payload uh, by Slayer's Covey. Uh, this one unfortunately works only on 6.72. Uh, this one also requires you to send the game to the PS4's internal storage by going to the home folder and creating a folder there and call it fake USB. So uh, I'm just gonna do this as a 
demonstration is not going to work for me because I have 7.02. Now uh, open the fake USB folder and simply send the game to it. Okay, we're going to drag and drop the game here. Alright, now when the game is done copying, just plug in a USB drive to the PS4. It doesn't matter if it's uh, one gigabyte or four gigabyte, it doesn't matter if it's empty or full, it just has to be a USB drive. The PS4 must have a USB drive in it for this method to work. Next, you need to go to Slarscovy's uh, jailbreak uh, host page and run uh, jailbreak plus fake USB okay I'm not gonna run it because I'm on 702 nothing's gonna happen once you get that you're all set message uh, go to the debug settings as if you were about to install uh, games from the USB drive and you should see all the games that you sent to that fake USB folder appear here and you can install them so yeah those are the six methods that you can use to uh, install fake packages to a jailbroken ps4 and um, i'd like to apologize for the super quiet commenting because it's really late here and i can't use my full voice so yeah i'll see you in future better videos. Take care.